Hi, Jeff Schneider here, Enrolled Agent and Certified Tax Resolution Specialist. You're watching this video because you received a link in one of my uh, weekly emails. I'm going to be talking about 2018 and the Tax Cuts and Job Act. I only have about a couple of minutes, so I'm going to talk about briefly what it is. Well, the Tax Reform Act, remember they talked about simplification in a postcard? Well, there is no simplification, and that postcard could increase your tax return dramatically depending upon your situation. But let me go through a couple of things that you need to be aware of to, for 2018. Well, first of all, there are seven tax brackets. Um, the, the highest one went from 39.6 to 37. The lowest one is 10%, and there's five more in between. Number two is that if you receive reimbursement for your expenses for your employer for jobs, nothing really changed. However, if the employee didn't reimburse you for expenses and you want to take that on your tax return, and I have many who used to do that, and those are called unreimbursed business expenses, and they used to be um, on a Schedule A if you're itemized, well, you can't deduct that anymore in 2018. The second thing is, starting in 2019, if you were, or you know anybody who's going to get a divorce, well, they better start planning it now. Because in 2019, alimony paid is not deductible and alimony received is not taxable. Now let's talk about Affordable Care Act and the mandate, or the Obamacare, the penalty. Well, again, starting in 2019, there is no penalty if you do not have any health insurance. The Congress gave themselves a year leeway in order to see how they're going to change the Affordable Care Act. But you still are subject to the penalty in 2017 and 2018. What are some of the other changes? Well, your standard deduction for a married couple goes from about $12,006 up to $24,000 and $18,000 had a household. So a lot of people won't be itemizing. Um, you're also limited to your real estate taxes, state and local income tax slash sales tax of up to $10,000. So if your real estate taxes and if you live in a state that has income taxes, you're capped at that $10,000 no matter what. Second of all, um, charities, you still have allowed to deduct your charities. If you have a casualty or theft loss, you don't have to go th through that crazy machinations. It's not part of an itemized deduction, and you can still deduct it on the front side of the return. There are some other things that are there that have changed for 2018, so if you need to uh, discuss this with me, please give us a, our, your, our office a call, and we can schedule an appointment. So until next time, see ya.